Hello, my name is Lawrence Mostaf. Um, I'm a visual artist and scenographer, and behind me you see the Plexus installation, um, which is an um, assignment, let's say, uh, that started quite some years ago. In the end of 2018, Hampson Centre asked me if I could develop something inspired on the uh, historical uh, novel Le Sult by Knut Hampson. I was a bit intimidated by that since I didn't really grow up with uh, Hamsun at school or in, uh, yeah, I'm, since I'm from Belgium. Um, but then by visiting the, the center here, it was also really an, uh, very inspiring to discover the architecture by Stephen Hall, which is somehow, let's say, or he, he considers it as a metaphor for a human body with the, with the central spine as the elevator shaft and the different rooms and, and staircases kind of articulated as kind of organs around this central uh, setup. And that I found a really nice, I mean, you could say there's almost more in between spaces and stairs and, and openings than the regular floor one, floor two, floor three. So it's really, um, there's a lot of perspectives, uh, strange angles. Um, so I was quite quickly had the idea to, to develop something for these in-between spaces. And um, I think that's also maybe a metaphor for life. I mean, we like to present things as first I did this, and then I had the I developed that, and then I went to school. And we present things in a very organized way, but the reality is often much more complex, and we are always in the middle of one long transition. And uh, that's also a bit the idea of this structure here, which is, it's not a fixed, sculpture that's a final conclusion of the artist. It's, it's something that transforms, that changes over time. It bends, it scratches on the wall. It's uh, hopefully something that also interacts in an interesting way with the light and the shadows um, and creates different uh, views throughout the different seasons, which also the building itself is very interesting for. So the sculpture itself is... Um, I. It involved a lot of material research. Uh, I started first, I wanted to make something kind of an organic complement to this geometric planes and angles of, of the architecture. And um, I did a lot of research with wood, like certain arms of curly uh, frustrated birch trees that would articulate as a kind of a marionette uh, system. And But then I really wanted to get this energy of silt in the book. It's not so much an illustration, it's more like trying to capture this energy of, of resistance and tension that builds up and releases. And uh, so then I started to work with this spring steel, which is like very resisting material. And I started to weave them in kind of spirally arms, <laughs> screw it together so it's really an internal tension. Um, and then connect them with joints um, and then hanging from wires, motors, uh, also counterweights because a, an important dimension for me was also to make something with as minimum, uh, a minimum amount of material that would still have a maximum amount of impact in the space. I like to make something that you can experience physically, that you be somehow become part of, uh, not just some artwork that you look at from, from a safe distance from the outside. So. Um, and here also, I mean, of course, a big consideration is also it had to be safe, uh, something that has to last over a certain time. So it's not only my artistic motivations that count here. So I had to make things lightweight. Um, I wanted to build up this tension, but now you can still see there on the wall, there are some pins that scratch uh, and kind of make drawings on the wall. I now temporarily put some uh, uh, pencils on there so you could say it's it's also a kind of a, a big absurd uh, writing machine that's uh, writing a small repetitive patterns and in, in small variations on, on the walls so that's the plexus project um, and then uh, on the right here we have the the walls of Nevo uh, that will be set up on the third floor um, it's four walls that are set up in a square, but they are not fixed. They can slowly rotate uh, like doors, if you say, but they keep rotating 360 degrees. 
And the nice thing is that you can make something very organic, very labyrinthine, but they can also really become very, a very precise square. So you can make a room and then it opens and transforms into something yeah, um, disorganized. So that's the, the basic idea, how something very ordered can, with a small change, becomes very disorganized and you lose your space. Another element is also that they are, depending on the light, maybe it's not so clear here, but uh, they become uh, transparent or opaque. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm.